I am Dolos, mistress of deception and truth. All that remains is your you sacrifice. You are more powerful than he can Humanity imagine. has outstayed its welcome. The dead shall inherit the earth. Listen to the sound of my voice. Can you hear me? Who's there? I can't see you. My name is Dr. Salim. We've met before. Dr. Salim? Where am I? You have fallen between the world of the living and the dead. The void. I'm dead? I can't be dead. Deimos, I have to stop him. And you still can. I'll explain as we go. For now, you must trust me. Think back to coalescence. The start of your journey. The beginning. The beginning. It started at Coalescence Singapore in 2070. Ten years after the disaster. After virus 6115 began its spread. After the dead began to walk the earth. We'd lost comms with John Taylor's squad, another undead extermination team. Dead killers, we were called. With our cybernetic augmentations, we were impossible to infect. We were trained to terminate the undead. Hendrix was on edge. We were in a quarantine zone, one of many walled off areas separating humanity from the undead, built to keep the virus and the infected behind their wall, away from the rest of us. The undead weren't our only concern. The 54 Immortals, a local combine who remained in the containment zone, were aware of Taylor's activity. This place was the epicenter of the epidemic. The 2060 coalescence disaster created the cursed world we lived in today. Any activity at this site would set off alarm bells. Either way, our troubles were only just beginning. We should have known that the ASP wasn't playing dead. If we were going to bring it down, we'd need to disable his shield and find a rocket launcher. Hendrix had a bad feeling about this. He wasn't the only one. I knew we shouldn't be there. Coalescence. Enhance yourself for a better tomorrow. 
they'd been the forefront of technology, always wanting to improve the individual, the future of you. What happened? What went wrong? A coalescence disaster happened. Virus 6115 spread throughout Singapore and strains popped up all over the world. Governments built these quarantine zones to house the undead, a way for the populace to ignore what was happening. Ten years on, and it had worked. We put it out of mind. Ignorance was bliss. What was so special about this operation? It was supposed to be by the books. Five years after our cybernetic augmentations, Hendrix and I were a well-oiled machine. Quarantine sweeps, recon, search and rescue. It's just what dead killers do. But we'd never been sent after one of our own before. John Taylor's systems had gone quiet. With our direct neural interface, we're hardwired into Winslow Accord servers. Observation knew if you were dead or alive. For Taylor to be neither, that was unusual. We located an EMF source and uploaded it to Central. It was a 54 immortal audio log, detailing unusual activity coming from the server room at the lowest level of the building. It couldn't have been more than a week old. Probably why Taylor's team had been sent to investigate. Hendrix activated a recon drone to scan for life. We picked up a signal coming from far below. As we stood there in the atrium, I felt like Alice. And we were about to jump down the rabbit hole. Our drone picked up activity ahead. We should have known we weren't alone down here.
When man fled the virus, they left behind thousands of active robots. Machinery abandoned with one directive. Kill the dead. Years later, they're still killing. But with decrepit programming, somehow humans had been added to their kill list. Indistinguishable from our brainless counterparts. The strange behavior was observed in multiple quarantine zones. Another nuisance for us to deal with while on recon. We moved on. We reached the silo's floor, but the signal came from lower still, below coalescence. Did you have any inkling of what waited for you? No. In hindsight, we should have put it together. But the fact of the matter, that day was supposed to be like any other.
What did you find below Coalescence? A CIA black project. Project Corvus. Unknown to the world, and unknown to most people in the know. As off the record as it got. A redacted footnote in Langley's history book. Part of me wishes we'd just turn back. Why? It... Well, it would have been easier. For me. For Hendrix. For the world. Is it such a bad thing? To want to be blissfully ignorant in the face of daunting adversity? We didn't have a choice. Those who find fate thrust upon them rarely do. Human testing lab. What awaited you there? We found... the truth. The cause of the disaster. You are certain of this? We didn't have the full picture. Not yet. But this was the source. We knew coalescence was where the virus originated. But residue of 6115 in the air left no doubt. This was where it all began. When the disaster happened, hundreds of thousands died instantly. And they were the lucky ones. Because when the rest of Singapore inhaled 6115, they... changed. From the living into the living dead. These test subjects, they were linked together, connected with a direct neural interface. Their minds hardwired into the central server. Hendrix didn't like what he saw. You knew something was wrong. The same tech in our own heads made us what we were. It was down here in this room. We didn't know what happened, but the data didn't lie. Man did what man always does, playing God and fucking everything up. We, the CIA, man, we created these things. We changed the world. How do you mean, change the world? The Winslow Accord and the Common Defense Pact. We'd been engaged in a Cold War for nearly a decade. 6115 changed that. When the dead walked among us, we set aside our differences. For all of your conflicts, you and your enemy had two things in common. You're both human, and you both want to stay that way. Was this the source of the signal? No, but it looked like Taylor had come through. Our answers were still further down.
When you found the server room, did you have any idea what you would uncover? We couldn't have known. What we found was... We found Sebastian Diaz. One of Taylor's. Another dead killer. Our friend. He had... He'd linked himself to the CIA server, connected directly with the Winslow Accord systems. He was deactivating defenses for the undead quarantine zones all over the world. The massive walls containing the spread, keeping us from the undead. Deactivating the defenses would let the flesh-eating hordes loose upon the living. It would end humanity. We had to stop him. The only way to stop him now was by destroying the server.
You killed him. Your friend. He left us no choice. Hendrix wasn't happy and let Diaz know that. He'd unleashed the dead upon the world. Hendrix knew what he had to do. You needed to find out what he knew. What he knew about Taylor. Interfacing with Diaz and accessing his memories was the only way to find him. Knowing what you know about the N.I., interfacing would surely kill him. That didn't matter. We had to know. Had I known what it would do to Hendrix. From the interface, Hendrix learned Taylor was trying to get out of Singapore. There wouldn't be much time before we'd be too late. Tell me about the name. The name Hendrix learned. The name. Deimos. The demigod of dread and terror. Hendrix, myself, we had no idea what it meant. But Taylor's team was obsessed with it. But more importantly, we learned our arrival on site wasn't a secret. We had company. Go Julan, leader of the 54 Immortals. The Winslow Accord had no quarrel with them. To their credit, they had no idea we were down there. Had they known... Well, I'm not sure things would have gone any differently. The Immortals had worried for years about another outbreak. This was the final straw, and contamination was a risk they weren't willing to take. They blew the supports and let the ocean flood the building. We needed to haul ass and get the hell out of there. We needed to get out of there before the whole building collapsed. Hendrix had an idea. Flood the lab and let the water pressure jettison us out. Our lungs could take it. He just needed time to open the door.
And what happened then? We got through it. We survived. Taylor's team was making their way out of Singapore. But we weren't giving up that easy. We still had a chance to catch up before the quarantine zone collapsed entirely. We couldn't make sense of what they'd done. Their motivations, their actions. There was no way to explain it. At least not yet. To figure that out, we needed them. And we also needed to get the hell out of Singapore. That was the day everything changed. That was the beginning.